Jesus entered a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. Today, we remember the life of Martha. At the same time, we celebrate friendships. Christ-centered friendships that lasts forever. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins. Altogether, I confess yes, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and, and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whose son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant we pray that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen a reading from the book of exodus when moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and rising early the next day. He erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then having sent certain young men of the children of Israel to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice young bulls as peace offering to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in a large bowl. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God praise as you sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in times of distress. I will rescue you and you shall glorify me. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Please all stand. 
Alleluia, alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha burdened with much serving came to him and said Lord do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving tell her to help me the Lord said to her in reply Martha Martha you are anxious and worried about many things there is need of only one thing Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa isang magbabarkada po, ay maraming iba't ibang role ang bawat miyembro nito. Merong magbabarkada na, o oh, may membro ng mga barkada na unang-una yung planner. Ito yung nasa outing pa lang kayo, meron agad siyang planong susunod na outing. Meron din namang membro ng barkada na financer. Ito yung Araw-araw nakaka-receive ng chat na Mars. Anong kasunod? Pautang. Pero kapag galaan, siya yung isa sa mga nagbibigay. I remember one of my best friends, sabi niya, pinoproblema nyo, pera lang. Mahalaga magkakasama tayo. Ako nang bahala. Meron din namang miyembro ng magbabarkada na clown. Yung hindi pa siya nagsasalita, tumatawa na agad yung mga kabarkada niya. Yung natural na natural. Meron din namang barkada na takbuhan at crying shoulder para sa kanyang mga kaibigan. Ito yung hinigup na niya lahat ng sama ng loob ng bawat isa niyang kaibigan. Pati sama ng loob sa trabaho, sa karelasyon, pati na rin sa magulang, pati sa alagang aso at pusa, hinigup na niya dahil handa siyang makinig. Meron namang kaibigan na ang tanging ambag lang daw ay ang kagwapuhan at ganda. Ito yung kaibigan na laging present sa lahat kahit wala siyang budget. Ang mahalaga sa kanya, lagi siyang naroon para sa mga kaibigan niya. At maraming iba't iba pang membro ng mga pagkakaibigan. Bawat membro ng isang barkada ang bumubuo at nagpapatatag nito. At kung mawala ang isa, hindi sila kompleto. Of course, wala yung isa, hindi kompleto. Ano? Kung mawala yung isa, hindi buo yung kaligayahan ng buong grupo ng barkada. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, at ngayon din ay pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng tatlong magkakapatid, ang memorial ni St. Mary, St. Martha, at St. Lazarus. At hindi ito basta-basta magkakapatid. Kung ilalagay natin sa ibang salita, sila yung barkada ni Jesus na nasa malayong lugar. Sila yung mga taong takbuhan ni Jesus kapag kailangan niyang magpahinga, kapag kailangan niyang dumaan o magpalipas ng gabi, o sila yung simpleng barkada ni Jesus 
best friends ni Jesus. And of all those people whom Jesus met, these three people perhaps are the ones that we considered close friends niya. At katulad din ng pinanggit natin sa barkada, nandoon din ang roles ng bawat isa. Si Martha, yung pinaka busy sa kanilang magbabarkada. Hindi siya pwedeng, hindi pwedeng dadating si Jesus tas walang nakahandang pagkain, hindi nakaayos siguro yung tutuluyan ni Jesus o hindi hindi siya nakapagluto man lamang ng mimeryendahin ni Jesus. And I presume and I believe whenever Jesus goes to their house, Martha already planned everything. She know what to do, what will she prepare? And she knows whatever Jesus needs. And such knowing make her anxious. At yung si Mary naman, nakapatid nilang isa, she is the listener type. Siya yung barkadang sasamahan ka kahit saan ka magpunta. Pakikinggan lahat ng sasabihin mo at maniniwala sa lahat ng babanggitin mo. Si Lazarus, ang isa din sa mga matalik na kaibigan ni Jesus, na kahit hindi nabanggit sa ating ebanghelyo, sa yung kaibigan na laging nandiyan at kaibigang malapit na palapit kay Jesus. Itong tatlong example ng taong ito, o itong tatlong roles ng bawat isa sa kanila, ay mahalaga kay Jesus. At marahil, hindi kumpleto ang kanyang pagbisita sa bahay ng mga kaibigan niyang ito kung hindi niya nakikita ang kanilang ginagawa at kung hindi niya nakikita ang role ng bawat isa. What made it common despite their differences? The center of their friendship. The center of their friendship is Jesus. He himself made them one and bound them to become good friends with Him. Ang ating ibanghelyo ngayon at ang ating pinagdiriwang na memorial ng tatlong ito ay nagpapaalala sa atin ng tatlong puntos patungkol sa pagkakaibigan. At gusto ko pong ihatiin ito sa pamamagitan ng tatlong letra na bubuo ng salitang BES. Unang-una, lasting friendship starts with believing to each other. Hindi lang believing na naniniwala ka sa sinasabi niya, pero naniniwala ka sa kakayahan, kakayahan abilidad, at mga pwede niyang magawa na magaganda sa buhay. When we say we believe a person, we trust them with all of our hearts. And we trust their abilities to do things. Friendship begins with believing to each other. Secondly, letter E, encouragement and encounter. We don't only believe them, we encourage them to go beyond and to go out of their comfort zone. And just like Jesus doing, telling Martha, Because Martha's comfort zone is doing the house chores and preparing for everything. Jesus encouraged her to go out of her comfort zone and try to sit down and listen to what He is saying. Lasting friendship encourages each other to, to go out of their comfort zone and to grow together as one. And lastly, Lasting friendship needs sustainability. How do we sustain friendship? It entails effort, it entails trust, and it entails lifetime commitment. That's why as we grow old, our friendship became, becomes smaller and smaller. Our circle of friends become small. But these friends are the ones who believe in us, who encourage us to go out of our comfort zone, and who sustains our friendship 
because of our trust and their trust to us. Today, as we celebrate the memorial of these three friends of Jesus, let us not forget that they will not be one as friends and brothers and sisters without the center of their relationship, Jesus. And I hope and I pray that it's friendship that we have, it is Jesus who is the center of it. As we continue our celebration, we pray for our friends. We pray for those people dear to us, those who believe in us, who encourage us, and those who sustains their presence in our lives. Amen. On this feast of St. Martha, let us remember those persons who serve us daily and let us ask God to grant them the blessings and graces they deserve. In every petition we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in the service of the church may truly become contemplatives in action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that public servants may perform their duties in the spirit of love and service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Martha, may we be willing and generous in bringing joy and comfort to those entrusted to our care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the aged may find care and support from their family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who serve in this life may reap the fruits of their labors in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who offered masses to be celebrated in the national shrine of our mother of perpetual health, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for the spirit of service, that our life and work be fruitful to many, that we may serve as Martha did. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with a great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear sisters and brothers, this is the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he sold everything he had and bought it.
Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of his fallen world, so that, following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you and earth, and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.